What's up, boy? Fito. Thank you for clicking this video. This is about the new combine collectibles, how to price them, how to snipe them, doing some sets, making some gains. Let's get it. So first, right now we're so close to 600 subs on YouTube and 300 on Twitch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do giveaways once we hit one or the other. I'm thinking we're about 15 away on Twitch, so that's probably gonna happen sometime next week, or it could happen on YouTube first. We're only about 30 away, so you haven't done it yet. The giveaway is gonna be on Twitch, so make sure to follow us on Twitch. It'll be next week, probably around Wednesday or Thursday, around 9 p.m. Eastern time. Anyways, let's get into what I'm doing here. So we are looking for the new collectibles, and in our binder, we're picking one up. So once we pick it up, we're clicking L1, and that's gonna be the what we're searching for in the auction house. Since you're filtering by that, the price is gonna be a little bit cheaper than when you're in the auction house, you just search it. For example, right now in the auction house, I'm looking for the three cone drill. This is listed about four, seven, and five, one as the price. Those are the lowest prices in the auction house. But when I go to my binder or my binder where I make all the gains, you can find these for under three, five. Three, five is the most I'd pay for these right now. And I'm thinking the price I want to pay is 5.3. So, since we're looking for 5.3 is the price to sell them at, because we want to be the lowest one in the auction house, we're getting them under 3.5. We're making a little over a thousand per collectible. But the best thing is you can flip a lot of these quickly. I didn't show every single one I flipped, but I probably bought about 30 of them, bitches. And I bought the three cone, the broad jump, and the 40. My job is to keep going to buy it now price. And I'm only looking for under 3.5. So if you can't do this, you have to go in your binder and do it because it will not show up in the auction house. And you're just gonna have to buy a few for a filter first, which means you're gonna have to pay 5K for some, and then you can start filtering them to get cheaper prices. If you want to, you can. You can complete one of the sets. For my boy, Bud Dupree, who was supposed to get 99 speed at linebacker, which did not, which that would have messed up the game. So you can see his bad card is 88 is worth about 20k his 91 is worth about 160 and I believe his 94 is worth about 250 so we're looking to get either the 91 or the 94 and that's gonna make us a lot of profit but in this set you realize you have a nice chance a very nice chance of getting the 88 I'm gonna say about a 65 to 7 percent chance of getting the 88 but I think it's worth it to take the risk since this set probably costs us between 70 and 80k to do i'm thinking it's willing to take the risk to make to get the 150 bud dupree or to get the 250 bud dupree and rip it since i looked at all the other players and all the other players have a much lower ceiling well what does that mean that means the 290 elites are not priced as high so you're not gonna be making as many coins and it's a lot more risk to do this. We did the budget pre because it's about 70 to 80K to make and the ceiling is lower. I would only do this if you probably had a good couple hundred coins to play with because it is a pretty big risk. And doing this, I'm prepared to lose 50K. Like I said, these we're trying to get under 3.5, but some of them you see, you could probably snipe for 2K, but you gotta be really quick on the trigger. And the ones that are for like 2, 3K, those are gonna be off the board within like 58 57 seconds so you got to get really lucky but i chose to do this with my coins because this is a brand new set and i want to see if i can pull a good card i did this with the superlative set and got roasted i think i pick, picked up like an armstead who's worth 20k at the time and the set probably costed me 70k so i just don't have good luck in these sets but some people do and you can make a lot of coin very quickly and these are repeatable so you can do it more than once if you want to or you can try to get the rg3 or the cooks or one of the players other than bud dupree so one more time on the method Simply put, you're going to find these in your binder. You're going to click L1 on 1. This is on the PS4. And you're going to filter just by that. You're looking for prices under 3.5. We're looking to sell them for 5.3, which is 5,300. If you want to, you can try to sell them for 6. But my goal is to sell them as quickly as possible because I want them out of my binder and I want them just shipped out. The goal is to flip probably at least 20 an hour. And that means this method could probably make around 25K. But it doesn't mean you can make more because if you snipe good ones, you'll be making in a lot of bankroll very quickly. And keep in mind, positional heroes come out on Sunday. That's when we're going to invest all of our coins we have in the two sets. 
definitely doing that probably Sunday morning, maybe Saturday night. So it might be tonight, not sure yet, but you do get this Bud Dupree reward pack. So it's gonna be one of the Bud Dupree's. We made the set and we end up getting the one we wanted, the 88. We just lost 50K, but that was interesting. We got to show you sometimes it doesn't work and it's okay because we're prepared to lose in, in an investment. That about wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. If not, show us the hate. Please leave a like, a comment if this has worked for you. And keep in mind, we're doing the giveaway on Twitch. That's going to be sometime next week, probably Wednesday or Thursday. It's going to be trivia. It's going to be awesome. So make sure to follow on Twitch too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next vid. Baby girl.